taking a break, not just physically, but mentally, might be one of the most important ways to increase your productivity and performance. Henning, Davan, welcome. Thank you. Henning and I both have a background in martial arts, and we've taken that into the world of business and leadership through meditation. So Henning, if you ask me, is one of the best experts in Denmark in meditation mindfulness. And I'd like to ask you, how did martial art bring you to mindfulness and meditation? It brought me to mindfulness and meditation because the type of martial arts I specialized in stems from uh, Asia. And in Asia, the way you look at training is like body, mind and uh, spirit orientated. It means there's a, a belief that there's a certain uh, depth in a human being and the more you can access that, the better you can perform. And the saying is, although we, we, we agree and believe that in martial arts physical strength is important, it is clear that it's not the stronger fighter who wins the fight, physically stronger, is the mentally stronger. And mentally stronger means what? Able to execute your strategy under pressure without losing you know your focus that's the winner so you can often see a person who is physically weaker like me when I was 13 years old I can imagine <laughs> yeah. yeah so if you're 13 years old and you may be fighting somebody grown-up men grown-up men mm -hmm. physically stronger mm -hmm. in the age and how did you defeat them I was still in yeah. my mind yeah I was completely calm. Mm -hmm. There you have it. That's the key. And and uh, I think if you look, if anybody looks in their lives and see where did, where did I achieve my best performance, it always has some characteristic. And some of them are, I lost sense of time. Mm -hmm. It just happened, and there was a kind of stillness or something like that. And and according to Eastern psychology, it is when you hit that inner part of you, which is like look deeper than your mind, which got to do with your just present in the moment. That's where you can really execute uh, your best. That's where you have your best performance. And, 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 uh, and the saying is, when you enter there, you, you um, strain yourself less, but you achieve more. That's so true. Yeah. How do you translate that into a day-to-day -day working life? There, there, are like, there, there are a couple of major keys. One is of them is simply to understand that uh, human beings can manage a lot of stress. We can handle a lot of stress. Stress is not uh, dangerous for human beings. But what is dangerous is if you're continuously stressed. Like all the time stressed. Con yeah, yes. every day or all day. Yeah. So what we need to understand about the brain and the nervous system is that we have two parts of the nervous system. One is got to do with fight or flight, one is got to do with the rest and digest. And you need to balance those uh, for the best uh, uh, performance. So what happens during the day is that you work, you work, you work. After some time you start to feel like exhausted or tense, then you need to give your nervous system a break. And one of the most powerful ways to give you this break is through like breathing techniques or meditation techniques. You can really like, you can take a mental break and you can give your nervous system a break. And when you come out from that, you're ready to continue. Yeah. So this is one of, the, one of the major tools. But there is actually something which is much more important than simply taking a break. And that is, we have goals and we can also achieve our goals. And there's a, there's a measure of satisfaction in achieving so many goals. But if the goals you achieve are the wrong goals, you won't feel satisfied. And you also won't feel energized if you're running after the wrong goal. So there is also something about knowing who you are, knowing what's your value, knowing what's your real goal in life. And in, that could be in your life or in your career. And make sure that you use your energy for the right purpose. Because the minute your right purpose wakes up, in that minute you feel energized. It gives natural energy because you're in alignment with something in you which, which contains energy. So energy is not only a matter of rest and, and, and activity. It is largely a matter of listening to yourself and doing something which is in harmony with your 
shall we say, purpose. Yeah. yeah. I thought you would say that because I know you've written a book on this topic as ah, well. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. But the, the thing is, you know, we look, everybody's looking for energy, but if, if you're running towards something which is not in alignment with your purpose, mm. you can't get energy because you're not supposed to get energy. You, you have to turn around and run in the right direction. So then you get the energy from the inside. Yeah. And that's actually how you source your inner power. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Yes, there so, you go. So, so one, one advice is to take breaks. Yes. Not just physical breaks, but breaks where you really switch off and you switch to the nerve system where you are regenerating yes the second one is that no matter which goals you're running after they should be aligned with what is your purpose yes aligning your goals with your purpose is the, is the greatest energizer yes <laughs> and the third advice and that comes from me is yeah. to be a little easy on yourself as well don't don't overdo it don't beat yourself up for not being perfect or doing everything we advise you to do love it yeah? Yes. <laughs> okay, thank you for watching today.